But now let's go ahead and take a look at our local forecast gearing up for round number two of some severe weather pushing in. We're going to go ahead and start off though looking at our local satellite and radar and watching the line of storms that continued to push through our area last night right along the boundary that just stuck right along portions of northeast Missouri. We saw very, very heavy east easterly flow just pushing things in a very, very linear progression. And unfortunately, here comes our next round just off towards our west. And we already are starting to see some areas underneath uh, severe thunderstorm warnings. As we can see just down south of uh, I-70 southwest of Kansas City, there is a severe thunderstorm warning out there. So it's already starting to kick up some stronger storms. So we're going to be getting ready for that pushing in later this afternoon. But let's go ahead and talk about what the Storm Prediction Center has. And right now, the main threat for the worst of the weather is going to be off into northwest Missouri once again, but they could start to see it pushing farther east into just central northern Missouri and into northeast Missouri. That seems to be what is under the gun today. It looks to be a northeast Missouri uh, significant event, but we can't leave southeast Iowa out of it because there is a slight risk outlook for some severe weather. And so depending on how these storms want to progress, if they start to get a little bit more of some southerly air forcing them, we could start to see them rising a little bit farther north and impacting more areas in southeast Iowa. And as for tomorrow, really we're contending with this marginal risk outlook for the morning hours as this storm system makes its way out of our area. And then after that, we're going to start to see a clearing effect taking place and we're going to turn over to some lovely conditions for the start to our weekend, but let's go ahead and jump on into our service map. So here we're looking at our high resolution rapid refresh model. This one only goes out about 12 hours, but it is very, very high resolution. So we're starting to see a lot of very active cells sweeping into the area, continuing in towards the 10 a.m. hour. So we may not even get a chance to see a break in the action before we start to pick up our next round. But really, we're looking at a very, very strong line forming as we head into the later afternoon hours. This is where we're seeing our greatest threat coming from. It's this line of thunderstorms here and already starting to look at very intense cells that are going to be holding ha hailstones very large. We saw some yesterday in excess of one to two, even higher than two inches in diameter. We had some upwards of baseball size, which is over 2.75 inches. So a lot of damaging hail, strong winds in excess of 60 miles an hour and tornado threat is not out of the question. And this is going to continue through the overnight hours. We are seeing this system take a very long time to push on in. But let's go ahead and check out our second model and find out when it's actually going to be out of here. So Still seeing very, very strong thunderstorms moving in towards early Friday morning, about 3 a.m. Starting to see things sliding off towards our south, but we're really not going to be done contending with showers and potential thunderstorms until we get towards about the 8, 9, even 10 a.m. hour. It doesn't show up on our model right here, but we're still looking at some initialization occurring later in the evening, allowing some thunderstorms to stick around a little bit longer. And then heading into the afternoon, maybe an isolated shower, but we're really starting to see this sliding out of here, and we're going to start to get that cloud cover out heading into early Saturday morning. Some sunny skies are ahead, but what we need to talk about are the rainfall amounts because we already do have flash flood warnings in effect for Sullivan, Macon, Adair and Lynn counties in northeast Missouri and look at how much we're already going to be adding on another 1.6 inches expected towards Milan 1.25 down in Macon. We had here in Kirksaw the KTVO station 2.93 inches of rain this morning, so we are going to be upwards of three, maybe even upwards of four inches by the time we get through it all temperatures right now in towards the mid and upper 60s. Couple areas of thunderstorms in Kirksville and Macon. Temperatures today a little bit cooler than yesterday. 84 degrees for the high temperature. Tonight we're staying very mild, dropping down to about 66 degrees. And as for our extended forecast, we're finally going to see the sun again on Saturday. But unfortunately, more rain is in the forecast starting Sunday night. Now stick with us. Good morning, Heartland. We'll be right back.